Shalom, Kahalayim, La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak, with that double honor to the head elder of the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, Akim, here and abroad. All right. In sincerity and truth, just wanted to make another quick, low willing vent session. And just was thinking, man, you know, the Lord gave Esau the whole earth. And look at what he's doing with it, man. You know? Look at what this so-called white man, this Edomite, has done with his his rulership. Look at what he's done with his um, time to enjoy the goodness of uh, life, so to speak. You know? And we coming into the times of Great tribulations, greater tribulations, and it's by way of who? It's by way of this Edomite to show you so-called Negroes, you blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, man, to show you where you you really are, where you error at, man. All right, because this earth was not meant for wickedness to flourish. This earth was meant for righteousness to flourish, man. The laws, titles, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah to flourish. You know? So, yeah, I was just thinking about that. I'm going to read this scripture in Isaiah 26 and 10. It says, Let favor be shown to the wicked. It is not favor being shown to the wicked. You go to Job, the ninth chapter, and the 24th verse, it tells you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, meaning the Most High gave this devil everything. He gave him the whole earth, man. And look at what he look at what he's done with it. He polluted the air, he polluted the food, the water, the minds of the people. All right, more than now, more than ever, is more jacked up because you know uh, the, the, his the, his, uh, his left handed sided knowledge has um, corrupted everything, calling good evil and evil good. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. And this is showing us, man. This is showing you. All right. This whole ordeal that we've been going through in the water, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, is almost up. All right. Yahweh Bashim al Shai, knoweth when exactly. But this so called white man, this Edomite, this self proclaimed so called white man, all right. He's not trying nor does he have the uh consideration to even want to to do righteousness which righteousness is found in the laws statutes and commandments of the heavenly father and that shows that it wasn't even given to him but yet they crying out everybody can be saved everybody you know everybody want to cry out you know god loves everybody all of a sudden not all of a sudden but this is the type of philosophy that has given birth to this melee of bullcrap and madness that we have in 2021. You right? Everybody's seeking after their own righteousness. Whatever they call right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? And it's all twisted and upside down. That's another scripture. I believe it's in the, I believe it's in the 29th chapter. But it says, yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly. And he has the, the favorite land in the most high, the favorite land, which it doesn't belong to him, but he's in the favorite land of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem al Shai. And what is he doing over there? He's calling, he's lying, he's blaspheming. He's doing what the devil would do. He's doing what the wicked would do. How much more proof? Do you need, you know, and will not behold the majesty of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So the the uh, the judgment and the punishment that is to befall the Edomites and the other nations, and even two thirds in Babylon the Great, you're not going to behold the ma majesty of the Lord. You're going to be getting destroyed by the majesty of the Lord when He returns. <clears throat> 